Movie buffs, welcome back to the movie bay. This is Dave. In today's video, we're gonna do a take five. Our take five is our take five is for 422. Without further ado, bars, let's go ahead and dive in. We're gonna start with our comedy for this take five, like we always do. We start with a comedy. And this comedy, we're gonna do Jim Carrey's The Mask. This is one of, to me, in my personal opinion, this is one of Jim Carrey's best movies. It's I think this is definitely like top five. For most people, but for me, this is definitely like top three. I really did enjoy this movie. I thought it was awesome. Fantastic. The Mask came out in 1994. It has a 6.9 IMDb, which I think it should be about 6.9 to about 7.2. It has a 99-minute runtime, so it's not terribly long. It's very entertaining and very engaging. It stars Jim Carrey and Peter Green. And you also have, what's her name? Uh, Cameron Diaz was in this movie as well. A very young, uh, fresh Cameron Diaz. Very funny movie, The Mask. Our horror pick is... <clears throat> I do believe this is a Stephen King movie, but it's Needful Things. Starring, uh, let's, let's get to it. So Needful Things came out in 1993. It has a 6.3 IMDb. 6.3 to 6.5 is probably where this should be. So yeah, I, I'll go with that. It has a 120 minute runtime. Uh, it's 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 engaging enough for the 120. You won't really. It doesn't really drag. Um, and you got um, Ed Harris and um, Max von Sydow and Bonnie Bedelia. That's the cast. A uh, very good movie. It's about um, um, Max von Sydow is Leland Gaunt. He's basically the devil. He comes to this town and he opens up a little curious goods store called Needful Things. And he uses the store to, he knows what the people want, like the things that they want, like rather be like varsity jackets, um, medication for arthritis, like different things. He knows what they need because he's the devil and he tempts, he tempts the people of the town with these things for very evil purposes. It's a really good movie. It's not the scariest movie. It's still classified as a horror movie. It's not terribly scary, but it's a very good movie. And again, you will really enjoy yourself for the whole 120 minutes of the runtime. It doesn't drag. It's a really good movie. Now, when you watch this movie today, you can definitely tell it's a 90s movie, but it's very good. Our action movie is going to be Steven Seagal on Deadly Ground. So here's the numbers. Uh, it came out in 1994. It has a very low 4.6 IMDb. I think it should be at least a five. It's not the best Seagal movie. This is when Seagal started his decline. Um, it has a 101 minute runtime. And you got Steven Seagal and Michael Caine. A very young Michael Caine. They go Michael Caine right there. That's Alfred from the, the Christopher Nolan Batman series for those of you who don't know who he is. But... Um, this was a decent enough movie for me. You could definitely tell this is um, when you could definitely see the, the the low production value. This isn't like Seagal's previous movies, but I still thought it was good. And the four point six IMDb, I think this movie should at least been a five five point five. So I don't agree with the IMDb. I think it's a little low because it was still a good movie. It wasn't Seagal's best work by a long shot, but it was all right. I thought it was better than Under Siege too. So that's that. Our drama is a really, really deep, impactful movie. Um, very, a lot of stuff is going on in this one. It is American History X. Um, this is a, this movie right here is really good. And it touches on some real touchy subjects. So here's the numbers. It came out in 1998. It has a very high, well-deserved 8.5 IMDb. Very, very high. Anything over 8, and really anything on se anything 7 and higher on IMDb usually is pretty decent. Usually. Um, so it has a 119-minute runtime. And it stars Edward Norton. Everybody know who that is. And Edward Furlong. Now, Edward Furlong is a young guy who really just destroyed his career. For those of you, again, who don't know, Edward Furlong wasn't in a lot of stuff, but his claim to fame was Terminator 2 Judgment Day. He was John Connors. So that was a very young Edward Furlong. So, and he really just kind of destroyed his career with personal choices that he made in his life. But again, back to the movie. Very good movie. It's it's really about 
race, race relations in America. It's, I know that theme has been done before a million times in movies, but none quite like this. This is a really good movie. You need to check this one out. Last but not least, our thriller. And our thriller for this take five is going to be Out of Time with Denzel Washington. So in the numbers, Out of Time came out in 2003. It has a 6.5 IMDb. I can agree with that. It shouldn't really be no higher. It was good. 6.5 for this is pretty decent. It has a 105-minute runtime, so it's not terribly long. Um, you got Denzel Washington and Eva Mendez in here. Also, um, Sanai Lathan is in here. This movie is really good. It's about, basically, Denzel Washington is the sheriff of a town, or the chief of police. He's even the sheriff or the chief of a small town police department. And he get caught up, his, his, his girlfriend, I think, she cons him. It's a long, dragged out movie. And at, at near the end of the movie, you realize his girlfriend conned him. It was really good. And it's called Out of Time because basically he has to stay one step ahead of what's going on. Just by, I mean, when I say he got to stay, he's one step ahead of the heat really coming down on him. He's literally just one step ahead. I mean, he's basically out of time. But this movie is fantastic. When you first watch it, you're going to be like, whoa, get the hell out of here. It's really good. The ending will blow your mind. It's a really good movie. So Denzel Washington, out of time. That's our take five. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the digital codes that I put out earlier. Stay tuned for more. Next up, we're going to do a, uh, a take 10. And the next take 10 is going to be on Denzel Washington. Uh, stay tuned. I'll see you then.